What's going on? James Durbin again with Justin and Jeremy, Jeremy still. Uh, two tour stories. We were on our way driving to Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, this tour is partly um, uh, sponsored. sponsored in part by Casamigos Tequila, owned by Woo. George Clooney. And so uh, Jeremy and I here, we're sipping the tequila, so we're just hanging out. <laughs> We're watching TV. We're just sipping tequila, and then and suddenly it, we've sipped like a bottle. Yeah, we've gone through a bottle. But it was just us, just hanging out. Yeah, a little more. Everyone had gone to sleep already. And we're just hanging out, watching TV, laughing. We go way back. Uh, uh, wake up the next morning, <laughs> like the crack of two p.m. And um, and I'm I'm in my bunk. My pants are off. I don't know how I got in my bunk. How I how I took my pants off. I look at my phone, and there's all these pictures of me and Jeremy, like, and then I get up, and, like, everyone's, I just feel completely awful, and uh, it just smells on the bus. I woke up to use the bathroom, it was probably, like, four in the morning, and I wait, I open my eyes, and the first thing I hear is, little did I know, I there's Jeremy vomiting all over himself and on the side of his bunk. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I'm not. I don't need to go to the bathroom anymore. That is close to me. I, I'm just like, Jeremy, you all right? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah, poor guy. I, poor I guy. did. I, I literally woke up to me vomiting. Vomit and I don't really puke, and I just. I literally woke up to myself <laughs> dirtying the bus, and when you luckily, get... luckily I didn't have anybody across, like the bunk across from me, because that would have just been it's terrible. A drunk bunk. Yeah. yeah. It's drunk bunk. So but then our second tour story um, is that same day, uh, the day, well, the day that we woke up, and uh, just felt awful, and he probably felt really good because he got it out of his system. Mm. But probably better. And yeah. we pull up to this venue. We didn't even know it was a venue. So we get out. We walk inside. And they're smoking in there. And we just don't feel good. And we find out, like, there's these clubs on both sides of the venue. These hip-hop clubs. And they're like, yeah, there's a gay urban uh, dance party going on tonight next door. <laughs> and um, little did we know, they were very much right. <laughs> And uh, as soon as we hit the stage, their party started. They weren't supposed to start until later, by the time we would already be done. And they turned it up, cranked it up. They were dropping the 808, the and it was thin. rumbling through the walls. I could hear it over my monitors. It was absolute <laughs> chaos during our pretty acoustic uh, Yeah, our, yeah, our pretty acoustic. May. And then we were outside after the show. We go back in the... Uh, in the bus, and, and someone told, one of the security guards told our tour manager, Noah, that uh, last week in that same parking lot, someone got shot because yeah. some guy touched someone else's rims and yeah. wanted to make them spin manually. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. It was, it was fun. There were like, there was, there was like five cop cars outside when mm -hmm. we got out of the venue. Which made it like really, really sketchy for me to just like, you know, leave all my puke blankets, you know, out there. Cause they were not allowed back in the bus. I had to clean it all up. And, and that has been two tour stories.